Swiss Nano 10 by Tornos. How did it become the machine that it is today? Well, the watch industry needed its production, precision, reliability, but guess what? So did automotive, and so did medical. So dedicated to medical, we have the Swiss Nano 10, but let's invite Bryce on camera to learn more about the technical side of this machine. Hi, Tony, you're in front of my favorite Tonos machine. Oh, am I? This is your yeah, favorite it one? it is my favorite. Well, I know yeah. the audience wants to learn why, just like I do, and the technical side that you're so good at. Oh, thank you. No, the Swiss Nano is, a, is actually a, a pretty nice machine. It's, of course, very compact, as you have seen. It's small, and it has beaten so many bigger machines. I mean, the machine is so precise, so stable. It's just a reliable working, working partner. She's a, she's a little bit the working class hero, you know? I love that. I love the way you describe that. And part of that working class hero, as you've mentioned to me previously, is that it really can make heavier cuts and it's gonna go and go and yeah. last. And she's gonna be around a long time. It's one of those ones, day, night, weekend, day. I mean, it's gonna repeat and you just don't have to worry about it, do you? It is, it is. It is really that. If you look at, tech spe at tech, uh, technical specification, it's not the best machine on the market, to be really fair and transparent. But it is optimal for the, for the, for the bar diameter she has to, to manufacture. And it's really, really good. It's really stable. So meaning you start your machine and the first part is very, very likely to be good already. And you don't have to worry a lot about the offset. Actually, you don't have to worry at all about offset. The machine is so stable and is designed to be stable over the time that it will produce and produce and produce all over and over over and all over again and again and again and again. And that's why people love about the Nano. It's not only that, the ergonomy is also excellent. You have this counter spindle that sits on three axis, like on the 360. You are facing the guide bush, so you can, you're working on really tiny bar. You have to center your tool in Y. It's, you're in front of the guide bush, it's, it's just ideal. It's just ideal. And uh, yeah, the fact that the counter spindle again is on three axis, you can center your tool just with the CNC. So people really like this machine. It's compact. It's you know it's powerful in its way, that in the way that it's it is a reliable it's a reliable producing partner. Really. Yeah, I don't think that we need to you know continue beating on the same subject for the audience watching. Reliability, the workhorse, it's gonna repeat. These are the things that make this machine the success, right? It is. And you wouldn't think that being the size that it is, but knowing that it can do that for us and save the floor space as well. I think it's important that we understand those aspects, but it really is that simple, isn't it? Coming from Tornos, being that workhorse, that reliable machine. Yeah, it is, it is, that's the, that's the main point. It's also quite technologically, technologically advanced, you can, you can do gear robbing, you can do free wiring, you can do all what you would do with a big machine, the Swiss Nano will do it, and probably even better. So that's really a machine to consider if you have part below 10 millimeter. I mean, mind you, this machine can eject, despite its quite a funny configuration, it can eject part of 100 millimeter long. So if you are making medical screw, that's a hint, the machine can do it 100 millimeter long, 10 millimeter, there is some implant on the market with that uh, that kind of co of configuration. You know, Bryce, I started this out with an intro talking about the evolution of why this was developed and grew a little bit, right? We had first started in the watch industry, which the Swiss world is, I mean, darn near magic at this point. It's yeah, yeah. so high precision. But then you guys found out about the automotive world and you found out about the medical world. And this really is that machine for the audience out there watching right now. If you're looking to get into medical, if you are in medical, if you're fighting for floor space, looking for that reliable machine, this is that go-to machine, but there is also more and more industries that this uh, machine services isn't there well in the electronic industry we have a lot of uh, high precision connector uh, many people are around in this uh, in this trade fair are wearing a smartwatch for example I mean those small circuit board the test pin to test them to make sure they are reliable are also small I mean the little sister of this one has manufactured a, a bar of one millimeter and uh, the, the test it was for a test pin Designed actually for a, for, for a small circuit board, and it was the smallest part we ever produced on a Swiss, pie, on a Swiss type play for Tornos. Uh, I mean, 
we have people that do jewelry on this uh, on this machine. We have people that do piercing. It's maybe a little bit the same. We have people that do actually scuba diving element on this machine. Yes, yeah, scuba diving. I was also a little bit scuba diving for mouse. So no, it was actually for real man. <laughs> and uh, no, the machine has. It's really a machine that will repeatedly give you good, precise path. And for that, there is many market actually in the world. Well, Bryce, you've now made it my favorite machine as well. So thank you for doing that. Probably some favorite thank machines you, for some other folks out there. But I, I have so. one last question for you. It's a simple one and kind of a fun one. You said the little sister. You said the little sister before. We've said the big brother. Is there ever a big sister and a little brother? Yeah, there is, there is actually. And stay tuned for those videos from NTD and my friend Bryce as well. We'll see you all again. Thank you for your time.